everybody. Welcome back to Oprah Cat playing Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door. So, we're finally going to move on to the next chapter because I finally got the, uh, the Wario suit thing. We're going to this island in the south. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to go down to this uh, port area because that's where we saw this Flavio character and that's where he told us to go. So, let's uh, check him out then. We got some salty sea scallywags. So that's how you do it. You and that men mental Flavio, or rather that Doshin guy. Well, at any rate, be careful, the iron is right nasty. Prepare yourself, eh? Sorry, that's the worst accent. <laughs> So you're with these other fools, eh? You only got you got one life, so you should treasure it. But hey, if you go if you go if you do go there, give my regards to all the dead mates, alright? Dead mates? Oh god. <laughs> so save game progress up to this point, that sounds like a good idea, man. Right fair weather today, eh? Yeah, perfect day to set sail if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit of a whole journey, it blue and fair as today, no siri, Bob. I totally screwed that up, my bad. So, Flavio, what's up? Ah, oh, yes, so it is you, ah. Uh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She's a fine vessel, no? No, she, no, she's not. <laughs> she looks like a piece of crap. How are you supposed to go anywhere? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about this. As is Flavian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Well, here is the real problem. The waters around Keelhole Key, or the Bermuda Triangle, as I'll probably call it from now on, are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me, m m mind me saying, I might have, might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve your problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard of a talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in the rogue port. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he said that after Elmsman touch, sir, he can make my, any ship bow to as well. The thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him in the seas of late. Basaboom, problem solved. Let us scout this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. What's with the mustache shop guy is he going with? As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Sounds fair. I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> the guy at the bottom is not on board the ship. Said, yeah, I'm on board. It's like, no, you're not. Literally. <laughs> then it is decided. You must find this Barbary and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. So now I gotta go find this Admiral Bobbery, or just Bobbery fellow. He won't be too hard to find, I believe. I'm very bad at doing pipe talk, so I'll just talk a little bit like a, like a chimney sweep. Just a little bit. I'm sorry, British people, if you're watching this. I can't do a very good British accent. And I know that you can't stand the, um, the what's it called? That, that kind of accent. It's locked from the inside. Well, I can't get in there. Um, but there's a way I can. If you see, there's like a, a spot up there that I can probably uh, roll up and fit into there if I tried my best. So, let's try and do that then. 
What, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like the guy, the guy does a chimney sweep. Like hello, governor. Nice weather we're having today. Because basically, that accent sounds to British people like the uh, southern accent sounds to us Americans. It just makes you sound stupid. Not that you are, but it doesn't really help. <laughs> what do you blokes want? Are you Barbary? You seek Admiral Barbary? Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. I entered your house like freaking Santa Claus. Now away with you. Except I'll go into the other room first. Oh my god, I'm so glad I found this thing. I'm really glad I checked in here because now I can upgrade Miss Mouse to the uh, highest setting. So, let's just do that, shall we? You seek Admiral Barbary. Yep. He's totally not Barbary, so let's go, just go ask someone else. Like, you know, Professor Frankly, I don't, I don't know. Barbary? That old sea dog lives in the east side house right next door. That lying bastard. They say he was great and important sailor long ago. So you are Barbary. You lied to me. You, Well, you're not a bitch. You seem like a nice fellow. Just a little bit roughed up. I have the face and the idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Barbary. Harumph! What poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea never more. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to, to the Bermuda Triangle. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. No. Well, we're kind of screwed. What are we going to do, man? What's the next move, chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? You know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Like Professor Frankly! Because <laughs> he actually knew what he was talking about. Admiral Robbie won't go to the sea. That's a setback. Perhaps, I don't know the man myself, but I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podley knows a thing or two. He works at the Inn's Cafe. Podley, eh? Thanks for that. Thanks for the info, man. Mr. Professor Frankly, whatever your name is. Mr. Prof, Ed Prof, what's up? Anyway, let's go talk to the guy. It's my bro, I already talked to my brother already, so I think we're doing just fine. I guess I can't talk to Bradley unless I go back here. You say Barbara won't go to the sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? Yep, cause we're assholes and we can't do anything without the what do we want. So we're gonna do whatever it takes to get the what do we want, even if it means a forcing a bo old bomber onto the sea. Sorry, I have no idea what I said. <laughs> Maybe a little bit delirious right now. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to the Bermuda Triangle. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. Hmm. Oh, cat? Are you okay? Please? I'm right here. Cat? What, what's wrong with you? Kitty! There we go, that's better. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'd probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I could take it. I've heard sadder stories. It's okay, man. Might as well sit up a little bit straighter. Maybe the cat will be able to track me better. <sighs> In that case, get ready. Barbary's tale of woe goes something like this. Also, what is that drawing on the box next to him? I never noticed that. It looks like a... 
a first grader drew a dog or something? <laughs> Barbary was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Barbary was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Barbary's return. And Barbary, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived, and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Babri, at sea, on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Barbary, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him, always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. You got an old letter, the letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on his on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote a Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podly. Thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing, okay? You feel better. Let's roll, Gonzalez. How long ago did his wife die? It has to have been like, you know, a couple years. And you kept it all that time? My god. It's pretty awful, man. I can't even make a joke right now. This is just, that's just depressing. But we're gonna be back to normal real soon. Also, I completely skipped this, so let's uh, upgrade Miss Mal, shall we? Welcome to the home of Merlin, blah blah blah, who cares? Miss Mouse. Or Miss Mouse. Shall I have this partner? Yes, sure. We haven't even seen her in battle yet, but I guess the next time we get into a battle, I can show her off. Shazubi! Yay! Why is she coming in her mouth? She's like, oh, what is this? What is this? Then you may go. Get the hell out. Sure, man, whatever. So. Barbary, I have something for you. What? Oh, by Blavidon's beard, not you again. No matter how many times it entreats me, my stance is firm. Now, away with you. Pardon? A letter, you say? For, for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, it gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. 
Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that that time, like love, is a tide. If you are one with the sea, as you were one with me, do not lose both your life's loves. Time like a love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. A, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? That's just really depressing, man. That's also a really short letter. But I suppose if you're in the middle of dying, you kind of want it to be brief, so... Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. I'm really sorry for what happened to you, Bobbery. That sounds like a really terrible thing that happened. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Killhole Key. Or the Bermuda Triangle. Harumph! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery! Admiral Bobbery, excellent. So now I have uh, two people following me. Yay! Freaking awesome. Let's go back to Flavio, shall we? A ship's in the harbour, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Yes, where else would the ship be? No, it's in the middle of the mall. It's on display. We're just gonna get a helicopter to airlift it out of the out of the mall. <laughs> where where else would the ship be? Of course it's in the harbor. Oh god, I got an email. I don't give a crap. It's probably just uh, stuff from the RDM, whatever. But anyway, now we're down here. I should probably save that. That'd be a good idea. So let me take out, I don't know, Goombella. Sh she'll be good. Right, fair weather today, eh? Yep, perfect day to set sail if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit of a whole journey blue and, f blue and fair as today. No, sir, Bob? What? I think you said the same thing as before. If I could just get my mitts on that treasure, I'd never work again by crummity. I could frolic all day like a big blooming sea turtle. Don't, don't hurt to dream, do it? Also, who's this uh, interesting looking fellow up here? Uh, pleased to meet um, your acquaintance, but... You look weird. Ah, oh, the smell of the sea. I'd forgotten how sweet a scent it can be. Uh, hey, that was some good rhyming right there. Have you considered rap career? <laughs> I knew you would get Barbary on board, you wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as my captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. Er, you know what? I'm at 18 minutes. I should probably, uh... I don't know how long this is gonna take, so I probably don't want to leave quite yet. Let me figure out what I can do. Oh, okay, so I'm just in the store that's right there. I'm f I am figured I would just go ahead and buy the, the, uh, the book that's in here. Super Luigi. I'm gonna need 64 coins. Cool, and now I'm poor as hell. What can I sell, though? Toad Brothers Bazaar. You're a store? I don't think I need to store anything necessarily. Let me look up real quick what I can cook, uh, cook with a dried bouquet because I really don't want to waste my time with that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there's a recipe that I, uh, oh crap, I can't buy it, can I? I'm gonna sell some stuff. <laughs> I looked up a recipe that I can make with the dried uh, bouquet, so I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw something and then sell it. Unless I have it on me already. No? I'm gonna cook with the golden leaf, actually. I'll be right back. Okay, so if I take out the golden leaf and... 
a slow shroom. I can cook that up for something else as well. Now I don't have to spend any coins because I am totally broke. I have only two coins on me. So I'm gonna try and get into more battles just so I can get more coins at this rate. Clumsy crush a lot. What ingredients would you like me to cook with? Slow shroom and golden leaf. I still want to figure out what to do with the dried bouquet though. I suppose I could um, sell some more stuff and get some coins out of coins out that way. Maybe that works, please. So to keep you waiting, not until I show you like this. Got the shroom broth, whatever. So what? Wait, what is it? Gradual replenishes HP, okay. Dread Bouquet, 1 HP. I really should do something with Dread Bouquet, otherwise I'm just gonna store it away somewhere. Okay, so I sold uh, something that I had in storage, and then I uh, basically I have enough money to buy the Fire Flower now, and I'm still gonna be broke as I was before, but now I can combine it with the, uh, the Dried Bouquet, and I can actually cook that up to make something. I don't know what it is right now, I just looked up, okay, I can make something with this. So, cook up fire flower and dried bouquet. That sounds good. What are we- actually, what are we getting? I don't- I don't know. Hope- hopefully it's good. Is it? Ooh. What? That was weird. Not until you sure you'll like this. Spicy soup. Yummy soup that's made by Zesty. Okay. That works, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you next time when I will be uh, getting on the ship and going to the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Keel Hall Key. So I'll see you then.